with Kimmy and with summer right around the corner. It's important not to forget the sunscreen, Kim. This is something that so I true. do all the time. And Kim is gonna show us all natural, non-toxic versions, including one that you can make at home. Absolutely. Okay, you gotta got to take us through this, Yeah, Kim. I've got a great one for you to buy and then a great one for you to make at home, a DIY for you. So here's the deal, Cameron. You know, we're a little bit early, a little ahead of the game, but we like to do that and kind of prepare you that summer is coming, oh, yeah. you're gonna be outside, you do a lot of golfing. I do, I'm outside a lot, just in yep. general, and so this is super helpful for anybody who's right. gonna be outside, summer's coming, and I am not great about remembering uh, sunscreen every day, but I'm also like you that I like to make be really careful yeah of what I put you know in my body as well as on my body absolutely and so while you're protecting yourself with your sunscreen you also want to be sure that you're not putting chemicals and toxins in your body so with what I've gone through in my health journey yes. I made it my my mission to find products this is one of them there's many on the market but okay. this is called Tizo here we go and what this is is it doesn't have any of the bad stuff in it. It's a mineral sunscreen, and sunscreens, I wanna tell you, should be applied before we even start many, many times a day. Okay. You don't wanna just do it one time. So that's why I love mineral sunscreens, because this one in particular comes in three different formulas. They're all free of chemical, filters, dyes, fragrances, gluten, and preservatives, wow. and that's really important to me. No harmful chemicals, no toxins. So the first one I wanna to talk to you about is the Sheer Botanicals, and this one would be great for you, okay. because this has the zinc oxide in it, and it doesn't have any color on it, no tinting, no color. Let me look. just put a little bit, you sure, can show that to sure. camera. See, sure. it's very white, and that's gonna go right into your skin. There you go. So right? Put it right, so that's there. the one, and also ladies, here's another Another thing, you want to do your hands. You're doing your hand, and I remember you telling me a couple well, months ago yeah, that's that true. Um, Cameron wears a glove, a golfing glove on one hand, and he can tell the difference between his other. Yeah, this, that's is, what, this is evidence that I this is, that this is evidence that I don't uh, I don't wear sunscreen. Yep, but, but okay, ladies, when you're driving, you want to put it on your hands as well, oh. not just your chest. And, and several your face. times a day. Several so times zero a day. times a day is not a good one. No, no not at all. Several times. Good. And another thing, they're not necessarily waterproof. So whenever you go in the water, the kids go in the water, you want to put it on as well. Beautiful. Here's another thing that I love. I get the primer and I also get a tinted. Can oh, you see that? Okay. Yep, our director's getting that. You can get a tinted sunscreen and that means, Cameron, I can get my foundation, my primer, and my sunscreen all in one. So you want right? to look for that. Okay, so that's, that's, that, that's the foundation for, to apply makeup later. Yes, okay, yes. Good. So it's, and you fancy. get a little bit of color on there. Okay, good. And so then you... the last one is just another way of having the sunscreen with a little bit of tint in it and that doesn't have a primer or it doesn't have the heavy white zinc oxide. So you've got some options. Yeah. I know which one I'm going for. I but know. No, but that's super helpful. Yep. However, if I'm not gonna go out there and I don't feel like buying it myself, right. even though that is great, non-toxic and yeah. all-natural, you've got a great version with simple ingredients that you can make at home. Absolutely, and the best part, Cameron, is yeah. you know every single solitary ingredient that is going into this and hence going on your body. So let me just tell you how I started with this DIY okay. particular um, sunscreen. So I started with a little bit of coconut oil. It's a lot of ingredients that you probably already have at home. Yes. You know exactly what's going inside this. This is what I already started. So what I have in the bowl is coconut oil, which by the way, has an SPF of four to five. Not a lot, no. but a little bit. Okay. Now I added some shea butter in here and that has an SPF of six to 10. I did not know that. And then see these little um, like molecules, little pellets. Yeah, they're little pellets in yeah, there. They're the beeswax pellets and that's just to make it solid. Okay, that'll so help it harden a little bit, right. not harden, but you become solid. Yeah, so. solid, so you can put it on. And then I added some almond oil. I put this on a double boiler, I melted it right down, okay. and once it's melted, then you wanna add the carrot seed oil. Carrot seed oil is my secret ingredient because, ladies and gentlemen, it's got a 38 to 40 SPF. Are you kidding me? I mean, that's amazing. And then, Carrot seed oil. Isn't that great? And Cameron, yes. here's my next secret ingredient. Now, what do we I have want here? You, and I want you at home to do this. I'll okay. use this one. Put this over your mouth. Oh. I gotta put this over my mouth. This is pure zinc oxide powder. Oh, like this? And you wanna cover your mouth because it's a powder that could go right into your nostrils and your oh. mouth. Oh, want me to stir? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can you hear us? <laughs> okay, good. So are yep, we safe? It didn't to come get up? too powdery. Okay, good, good. So there you go. Now you just want to mix it in, but just make sure 
not too much goes up into your lungs. And that also has SPF too, right? The zinc. Right, the zinc For oxide. Sure. So what would be the effect of SPF of this homemade uh, sunscreen? Approximately. Approximately. I'm going to go out on a limb and say you're in about the 50 range, Fantastic. which is wonderful. Now, Fantastic. the last thing you do, ladies and gentlemen, you want to pour it into any container at all, and you want to let it cool. Yeah. Here it is. So let's put this on Can camera. Can you see in there? Look at the texture it of that. It feels like velvet. Is yeah. this not the best thing? And how long would this would this last? This is a great question. So this is going to have a shelf life of about six months. And again, this one, just like the ones you're buying, is not waterproof. So you want to make okay. sure that you reapply this every time you go in the water. Cameron, I'm really excited about this. I am excited we're about it too. Protecting ourselves, our children, our viewers, and we're you know looking good, but helping with anti-aging and protecting yourself. And I always love doing segments with you, but I, I literally have had the wish for the last several weeks to come up with it with a sort of a daily routine yeah. to have some sunscreen, all natural, non-toxic, just like this. So and thank you so it. much. I got to point this out, that more people are diagnosed every year with skin cancer than all the other cancers combined. So this is super, super yeah. important. As always, go to HallmarkChannel.com for more information. Come